This is Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here at the red carpet premiere of The Employer, starring Malcolm McDowell. Well, let's see, you play the role of Billy Lewis in The Employer. Can you please tell us about your character in the film? Sure. Uh, Billy is um, a badass chick. She's very strong. She doesn't let people push her around. Uh, she has more layers than that, obviously. She's good at heart. I think she is a hero if she needs to be, but in everyday life, she gets what she wants and she makes sure of it. Uh, she's one of the executives vying for the job, so she gets thrown into this room with four other people and um, things just start happening. Now on set, was the majority of the film, or at least your scenes, shot in this small room? The majority is, yeah. What was that like for you? Um, Psychological in itself? Right? It was. It really was. No, it wasn't that bad. I mean, obviously, it wasn't just the small room that we were working with. It was a small room built on a large space. But it did work in the sense that it, it kind of made us feel what it would be like to be stuck in a small room because it was an actual for for wall room that was built on set and you know there wasn't a wall missing so when we were in there we were stuck in there you know it was a small room that we were stuck in and big personalities kind of bumping heads <laughs> this was frank merle's uh, feature film directorial debut how was your experience with him amazing i don't know what frank is like in other projects but in this one he kicked some real ass he is an actor's director in the sense that the way he speak to us, speaks to us, the way he directs us, he knows how to talk to us so that we understand him. So if he gives me a note, I know exactly what he wants. I know exactly how to do it because he, he speaks our language. Is that even more important too when you're dealing with like a psych, uh, psychological thriller or something in the thriller genre? Is that even more important dealing with this type of genre? Yes. I mean, it's important in any genre, but especially this because it's so it lies heavily on your emotion and the way you portray them and you know he's the, he's the guy with the eye he knows what he wants and if if i'm on that same page with him then we get there and you know if you're not then <laughs> now i'm pretty sure that i heard that you don't like watching yourself on screen so how is this going to go for you how are you feeling right now i'm okay now <laughs> you can ask my family earlier today it was throwing up and tears and no, it wasn't that bad. But um, no, I don't like watching myself. I'm too curious to pass this up, but yeah, nah, I'm a little nervous. Well, and as they say, we are our worst critics, you know, ourselves. Yeah. Well, you look beautiful this evening. Uh, upcoming projects for you? Uh, yes, I've done a few network TV spots. I just got back from New York filming a really cool movie about post 9-11. Um, so you'll definitely have to watch out for me. And what was that like for you dealing with a topic like that, a post 9-11 film? What was that like for you? It was, um, it was wonderful, beautiful, and very emotionally draining at the same time. I don't want to give away too much about the movie, but it was, I'd say a very beautiful process. Would you say bittersweet to have it in? Yes. Thank you so much. Enjoy the screening. Yeah.